our Zoom audience. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to work on this thing right here. Oh, yeah, here it is. All right. people. Yeah. Uh, since yeah, I'm working over here in the corner, get whatever view you can, and I'm going to do this demo uh, three or four times. So if you don't get a good view now, when people move around, you can try to get a better spot. But I'm going to be demonstrating some mold blowing on graphite molds. Cool. This is a one liter flask blank, and this is just a tapered angle. These are some of the common molds that we do. This is something that we made on a lampshade mold. <laughs> but the one that I'm demonstrating today is this. It's the bubbles for the uh, top of the sock split extractor that's running in the other room. So this is just the internal connect condenser. So this is the mold that I'm going to be demonstrating. And you can't get a good view of it from where you are. You can come around this side and see. But I'm running a graphite mold here. And I'm just going to be blowing a series of bubbles just like these. Do you make your own graphite molds? Yes, we do. We uh, machine them over in the other shop. We grab a blank graphite and cut the profiles in ourselves. Do you look okay, Bobby? So for those of you who can't see, the yep. setup right now Terrific. is on a uh, lab jack, so I can raise the power in as I need to. And I'm running a GTT barrage on a swivel stand, so I can have my hands free and leave the glass in the flame. This first one tends to get a little away from me because it's supporting no glass. Any questions? But uh, I don't think you can see it. Yep. When this first bubble comes in, it's going to support all the rest of the glass. Okay. And I can dial this up that eighth of an inch in order to make it come back on center. I know the top of the graphite is true to where I want it, so the glass is all going to fill into that mold. So the first thing I'm doing is a rough gather to approximately fill the mold, and then I'm gonna do a second heat. When I want the glass to sit on the mold, I need to wait for it to all come up to temperature and then start shedding that heat before I let it touch the graphite. Otherwise, you're gonna see a bunch of hard lines in the glass after it hisses the graphite when it's too hot. Either that or I'll wrinkle it, destroy the bubble. Now the center's set in, and I can come in and push the edges into the mold. And it's light, steady pressure to get it to take the shape out of a couple mold. Thank 
So that's the first one, and then everything else after yeah. that is going to be held reasonably stable on this first one. And then I'm just going to go down the line and do all six. Oh, yeah. 